Well, as you can tell by the thumbnail, I better get my butt moving on this shower and finish it up or somebody is gonna wring my neck. We've got just a little bit of prep work left to do before we finish the shower. I've got just over here, just a tiny bit of left of drywall to put in right there. And then I need to take care of the corners. I've taped off the seams. I gotta tape off the rest of them. I've gotta spackle those. But we need to do some red guard today also. So what we're gonna do is down here on these seams, lower in the shower, we are gonna red guard all the seams. We're gonna red guard the corners. We are gonna red guard all of the, um, the screws and we're gonna seal up also on the bottom underneath of our den shield where it connects to our, uh, <clears throat> our shower base. Then once that's dried, we can start laying out on the walls for our tile. Now we're gonna use a story pole in the corner, but we're also gonna use a laser level to keep everything nice and straight. Sorry for the light over here, it's a weird spot in the bathroom, but remember what I said about keeping everything nice and plumb, the walls nice and plumb, so that you get the best possible surface for your tile. If you don't have that, I'm gonna take you around the other side and show you. If you don't have that, you're gonna have this weird angled gap from the top to the bottom on the edge where your tile stops and your wall continues. And that is not going to look good at all. So I told, I told my wife that I would work on this hard and try and get it done. This bathroom is taking me forever because things outside just keep coming up. I had to work on the greenhouse today. I've got all those planter boxes still to finish putting in the greenhouse. We've got something special I'm gonna have on the next video coming up uh, <laughs> that I've got put in, being put in. There's just a ton of projects that are halfway done and this is one of them, but she wants her shower. So I better get moving on this. But it's not just about the shower in this bathroom. I gotta take down this gross popcorn ceiling, which is just a horrible mess doing it. I've gotta repaint, I've gotta take off all of the trim, uh, all of the crown, all the baseboard, and that is because we're putting in a new floor, but we're putting it over the old floor because this floor is so thin, and the new wood floor that I put in the rest of the house, if you remember that video from years ago, is very, very thick. So we're gonna build this up with the old flooring from our Houston house, which is pretty cool. I still kept uh, a decent amount of it. It's gonna cover this whole bathroom, which is nice. Um, but I need to keep this as a base, and it'll be a good base, but I need to get all that out, and then she, she's not gonna like this. Shh. She's not gonna like it. I gotta take the toilet out. <laughs> I gotta take the toilet out for <laughs> to put in the new floor. She doesn't know that yet, but that's coming. <laughs> She'll have the shower, but she won't have the toilet. It's gonna be a funny day when that happens. Then we're also gonna refinish our cabinets with gel stain. If you haven't seen that gel stain video that we did when we refinished our dresser, go check it out up at the top of the screen because it goes through step by step on how to gel stain something. And it is really, really fast, really, really easy. And the finish on it is fantastic. So go check that out. All right, we're gonna go cut some drywall and then get to red guarding all those seams. Now that we have all that drywall or den shield done finally, we can get to the rest of these little items. I'm just gonna seal up underneath the bottom here where the den shield is touching on our shower pan. That'll just give an added extra barrier under there. Our tile's gonna come all the way down to about an eighth of an inch above the top of the shower pan and then that's also gonna be sealed. So there will be a nice gap behind there that no water can get up and over. This could be a little tricky here, so you might want to run your finger under that bead or underneath to try and make that bead nice and smooth. It's hard to get it up underneath there. 
Now it's time to spread some red guard on these seams and on the uh, screw heads. And the manufacturer of Shield says you don't need to do the screw heads but I'm going to just for a little added extra safety as always. Also you can red guard this entire thing in the bottom but the Den Shield is manufactured to be water resistant and this is its application. This is what it's for. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it do its thing and we're going to get the corners, we're going to get the seams, we're going to get the screw head. So that should be good enough. Now make sure you've got a drop cloth because if you're working a long period of time, you drop that red guard 20 minutes later and it is on there. This stuff can be wiped off, no problem right away, but if you don't get it off in time, it really, really sticks. So protect your pan. Now a lot of people like to roll it on and you can do that with no problem. It is a great product for doing that. I like to use the trowel on the seams and I like to use the ridge side. This is only an eighth inch. Uh, trowel. So I like to do the ridge side first and then I'll come back and knock it down and make it nice and smooth. And then I'm also going to carry it actually on the seams a foot past my uh, where my tile is going to stop. And I'm going to do that because water can travel a little bit and I want there to be a nice barrier beyond where the edge of the shower is. Sorry about that, didn't grab the camera because the red guard is really sloppy, it was all over my hands. But here we go, we did the seams and the screw heads, we've got one coat on it. Red guard, to be completely waterproof, requires two coats at a certain thickness, so follow the instructions, it's really great stuff. Well, I'll let this dry and then we're going to get another coat on it, but we are not going to get to the tile tonight. That's actually going to take us an entire day to do because I'm not a tile professional, even though I know what I'm doing with it, uh, I'm not a professional. So I, I go very slow and very methodical, but I know the wife is going to be very happy once this thing is done. Now I'm gonna head into the kitchen and start cooking with my wife. We've got some friends coming over tomorrow. I hope all of you have a blessed day tomorrow and we will see you on the next video. Bye.